heard most of it, but it's it's safe. It's safe from <laughs> raccoon. <laughs> I am the raccoon. <laughs> Construction, lovely. There's the wind. Ahoy! Let's do a bathroom review. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Hello. Working fucking shower. Thank you so much. Thank you. Some new stuff that is not for sale but is downloadable for free this twisted wonderland print this is just for display kind of looks like my onibeni laundry <laughs> of course the usual boys are here i do want nanami without his glasses to be more popular so he's over here Coasters, by the way, <laughs> not coasters. Where's this? Our Mebutsu. It's this one. This one is kind of awkward. Not really sure if it's meant to be here or not, but yes, we'll see. shirt off. I think it's pretty good. There is a lot of space. Ooh. A lot of space. And a lot of
lot of there's a lot of space and a lot of different creators. Let's walk around a little bit. Stuff. Weapon stuff. Is that a white walker? Up at it. I see something I like. There's also like food stuff. <laughs> food stuff. I think those are dried fruits. We have plushies. I really like this bunny one. Maybe I will get it. I think some of the vendors are the same as... Nice! Oh my god! It's plankton! It's the same 3D printing dragon artist. It's just so cool. Food stuff. Cupcakes. Mickey no. Zakaten. Yeah. Let's see how busy it's gonna be. It's a pretty big convention hall. a stage but at least now I am not in front of it I am behind it so there's so many new things to see so many cool things I'm so excited I'm so excited and I feel like if I make money in this event I will spend it interesting event in I guess in a way it's disappointing that the barrier for entry was not that high but I'm not gonna say it's a mediocre event because um, for me the location itself is pretty outstanding. 
the stalls, the placement of the artists. It's very interesting. It's very diverse talent. There's a lot of, um, oh, this is my hair oil. It's a very good crowd in the sense that everyone there has this passion and zest for what they're doing but I saw a lot of you know fellow artists and vendors that are a little bit disappointed with the turnout of the event there wasn't a lot, a lot of traffic which I was really surprised with because the the hall is pretty big but I guess according to the friends that I've made it's not as big, but it's hard for them to put really high expectations. So it's a little, a little bit, it's a mixture of both. Um, uh, it's hard because I don't have any other events after this. And it was really easy to feel defeated. And it really made me feel like, oh, maybe I should have just stopped. Why did I have to try? Why did I have to relaunch again? Why did I have to gamble and risk again? This is what I get for risking and hoping and being the woo-woo. And I was very lucky to be able to talk to Knox, an artist. Um, she was saying that, you know, it's not you, whatever way you present your work if there is no proper foot traffic if the, the right audience didn't come to see you in the show it doesn't really matter and it wasn't just me that struggled to make table back it's like a lot of my fellow artists in the event and I spent close to 400 euros for the table and for this event i didn't want to be inconvenienced of commuting back and forth so i stayed in a nearby hotel like the hotel that's next to the venue also because i have had it my shower has been broken for 27 days and so i thought that oh i can just stay in a hotel to kind of Put it all in one cost it'll be with a with a it will be within reason because i have an event and i need to shower i can take you know an evening off it will be like a relaxing evening so my costs were pretty high for this event and i guess if you are tabling the scale of the event doesn't necessarily mean that it's the possibility of making back your costs are there. So this is a definite lesson for me. I guess local conventions are not gonna be in the future for me, unless of course they're like the bigger ones. I don't know if I will be given that chance, but um, yeah, it's just, I, f I do feel a little bit sad Usually when I come into conventions, my energy is pretty high. But it was like really easy for me to just go low on my battery because it's, it's just, it's so easy to feel defeated, especially because I was so scared to relaunch and restart again from scratch. Um, yeah, it's, yeah. I don't want to keep reading into the signs that then I should quit and then I should give up and I should just stop and do something else because that's me giving into um, the really dark parts of doing this for a living at least trying to do this for a living and I feel like with my history it's really um it's really easy for me to uh feel like why why did you have to do this 
we gave you all the signs that you should give up, that you should stop, that you should just go and do something else, but I don't want one million followers. I don't want 10k a month. I just want like a regular salary that would help keep me going. But I guess that's just a little bit too much to ask and that breaks my heart because I thought it was okay to ask. I thought it was okay to dream and risk. But I tried to be in the moment and not worry as much for the future, but the moment kind of sucks. It's it's great that I met a lot of new people and I was able to network with other artists who have been doing this at the same time as me. I just it's just really hard not to go inward and ask like is it me is, is what i'm doing really worth something i feel like with my previous convention it was there were a lot of people who came up to me and expressed how they were impacted by the stuff that i'm making and it's not about external validation but I guess this is just not the event for me, I guess. And I'm tired. And I don't have resources anymore to risk and fail. It's... It's kind of sad that this how Oliveni's last event is going to be like. And um, even though I do want to eventually do events in Asia, I don't know. Yeah. Right now, I don't think I can do that. I, it's, I have no more punches to throw. Everybody who came by the booth and bought something or expressed their excitement or um, genuine interest or a smile or an expression, I really appreciate you. Thank you. Um, it means a lot to artists when they can feel and see how People react to their work it really gives us like a really big push that what we're doing is not useless and not for naught and thank you so much to everybody I really appreciate you and um, I always say it too to fellow artists not to stop drawing. I always tell them to keep going and to never give up. <sighs> it's really hard. It's really hard to keep going. <sighs> I've been doing this since 2017 and sometimes I dream about the time when people are going to notice my work and stuff but if it doesn't happen I know I put a lot of I know I put everything to my work. So thank you for being a part of that. And 
Thank you for letting me um, live my childhood dream of being an artist. I haven't made table yet. I have, I have no expectations for this day, but we're gonna do our best. the exhibitors she's very nice she tipped me and she gave me a present and um, it's my favorite color that I wear I'm so excited it's not a flop because I met such lovely people thank you it's okay yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, you can spin harder than that. Okay. You can spin way harder. Yeah. Medium. Do you want to do your second spin first? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Whee! 
Mimi. Mimi. See, this is for the medium. I'm going to go. Okay, so I have a uh, dice for uh, like Dr. Food. Oh my gosh, are you sure this is enough? Yeah, it's a medium price, yeah. Uh, and so for the minis, it's either like a bag with uh, two sticks. Hello, it's an hour before closing. We have made 96 euros. My 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 energy is gone. My what is it? Just yeah, I, I don't I don't really feel like my rib is painful. Um, I haven't made my table back and I haven't made any of my costs back but I guess that's okay it's just life it is what it is I don't even feel like vlogging but I want to look back at this state of mind and we learn from it how to get better how to look at it from a better view or how to have a better attitude when I'm in the same state of mind and to be honest the previous month hasn't been that kind to me and that broke the camel's back it's not an exaggeration because of this it really feels like oh maybe I shouldn't do art again maybe I shouldn't put so much effort into it because it doesn't really make sense or it's not really worth it and boy I've been wanting to take this off three hours yeah. Bye, Rotterdam. Ahoy. Hello. I think this is the first time that I'm vlogging like this. My room is messy because I just came home from the event from the weekend and I wanted to talk about it a little bit more uh, so this is my second event locally which means this is my second event in the Netherlands and this is my fifth event overall as Onibeni I don't know how many events an artist has to attend considered a seasoned experienced vendor but I've been to three events overseas and I guess for me that is a lot of experience because it's three different places with three different kinds of audience so I want to share my experience with that and hopefully you can find some valuable things from my experience my first event as Oni Benny, as an artist with a brand with a clear message and clear aesthetics was back in 2022 this was just as the world was opening up after covid and i made the decision to do a table at me fcc which is the middle east film comic con this was in abu dhabi and i lived in the uae for many many years i felt comfortable and I had like direct contact with the organizers so I applied and I got in and that was very successful I made back my costs uh, hotel flights and I made a good amount of profit from my first event as Onibeni 
thank you so much to everybody this is because of you guys after that i decided to do more events but because at that time there were no events in the netherlands so i thought that i could go to events in the uk instead my second event was it's a smaller anime convention in birmingham not the big uh, convention center in birmingham but like a smaller convention center and that was okay i was able to meet a lot of fellow creatives and fellow artists who are also vendors and they gave me a lot of tips and a lot of um a lot of their experience they shared with me as a newbie vendor i remember that the artists that i met in that wonderful convention told me that your stuff would do really well in mcm so what i did after that convention is i went to the mcm website and applied on their waiting list and lo and behold a month before mcm london in the summer they sent me an email and that if i wanted the spot i could just pay and secure the table right away so i did that and <laughs> my third event as oni benny and probably my best event that i've done in my life was mcm london in may 2022 met so many wonderful people people that i still talk to today and i wish that i could meet them so easily i don't live in london i live in the netherlands so after that i took a break from my art because of extreme burnout i went home to my family and spent a year in japan um thinking that i should just quit art and maybe maybe how i did it and what i did was enough but last year i've decided to come back and come back to europe earn a little bit more money and then i i can go back to japan and go further with my plans so with that history laid out this is why i've decided to do events try to do events here locally because i i evaluated myself and my expectations and i i don't think i will ever go viral probably would take years and years and years just to hit a certain number of patrons so i felt that in the environment of being in an artist alley where i could interact with other people and fellow creatives that's where i felt like i flourished the most as an artist and so i decided that i wanted to do more of that i wanted to give everything that i had and just go 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 and if i make some money along the way that would be great so i applied to heroes made in asia i was very lucky to be able to get a spot my name was actually not printed on the official roster because i got in too late but um i accepted the expensive sort of pricey um table price and it was a good event i made back my costs and a little profit and I was able to experience the Dutch audience, my local audience, and meet some people. There were actually one or two people who already follow me on socials who recognized my art. And they were like, oh my god, I follow this artist. And yeah, that was nice. There were also one or two people who recognized me from Abu Dhabi. That was really nice. And what are the odds? I was really happy because my first and last sale were like a bang and it was just i was so thankful to have all of these experiences but i guess you win some and then you lose some because comic film and manga fest in rotterdam wasn't the convention for me my brain understands that my audience was just not there but it was very hard not to feel discouraged and disheartened especially when i had like a display and nobody was even looking at my display and i've had a really really bad month and it was really it was easy for me to feel emotional and sad and i felt like a lot of the people who met me in the convention could feel that and when they told me that please don't cry and then i just started crying everybody was really nice and 
kind. The, the fellow artists and exhibitors were really helpful with their tips and their advice with regards to doing artist alley within Europe, within Western Europe, because I have no experience with with that. And I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Nox Astra, Kilvana, my neighbor, Danny is, and everyone I've, I've spoken to, thank you so much. My friends uh, from Fruity's Art Circle, they were very kind to check up on me and see if I was okay. I decided to print more things for this event because I assumed that it was a big event because of the venue. I stayed in a hotel because I didn't have a working shower for 25 plus days. So it was imperative that I was comfortable and rested and washed after the event. So I've decided to put in that extra cost. But in the end, I barely, barely made my table cost. And I, of course, have all of these expenses on top of that. It was very disappointing in my end. I am an artist and I'm a creative, but this is also my business and my livelihood. So I will be very honest and that was a huge um, toll on me personally because I put a lot of myself into my art and Who I am, how I work, and how I treat my business, and how I treat my my audience and my my clients is um, I'm very proud of that, and to be treated like I was invisible in this event was very disappointing. I'm still very sad about it, and I'm finding ways to um, cheer myself up so I can go back to focusing on my art. Um, I can, I understand the power of being in front of your target audience. I've experienced the success of a small artist slowly growing after three successful events. I've experienced meeting wonderful people and connecting with them and vibing with them not just as a seller not just a transactional kind of relationship but because we i think of it in a way that we like the same things why wouldn't we jump around and be excited and if you end up buying something from my store i would be so grateful but if we end up being mutuals on social and interacting with each other, hyping each other up. I'm grateful for that. But it really seemed like my kind of people, my tribe, and people who connect with my illustrations and the things that I make, were they were not there. So I'm so grateful for every single person who decided to buy something from Onibeni. But at the same time, it's hard not to feel sad because you didn't make um, a certain amount of money. <sighs> there is some anger there, but it's, it's mostly disappointment and, and fear. I was very scared to relaunch Onibeni. And when I finally gathered the courage a certain amount of courage to start and do this half scared 
um, it's easy to feel unpleasant emotions when this happens. And um, if you had a wonderful event last weekend, I'm so genuinely happy for you. And I hope that you will keep doing it next year. If you feel like your illustrations, your art, and the things that you may connect and energize like the general audience, you think it's gonna be popular with like different kinds of people and you're not a super niche down artist like me, please give this event a try because the bar for entry is not as steep, but the table prices are sort of steep. Um, it was cozy because it wasn't as crowded, but at the same time, it wasn't as crowded because there were, wasn't really a lot of things to do. It really depends if you're into that, if you're into like smaller conventions and fewer activities, so you can like do your own thing, hang out with people, please try it out. But if you are a niched creator, someone who draws for very niche series and lesser known things, older anime, that's what I do. If this is your main source of income and you are a creative business, I would not recommend it. It's a bit of a gamble. If you can gamble and you have resources, go on. But if you're like me, it's a little bit scary to gamble. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, um, recommend it. And because of this event, I actually won't have any other resource allocated for future events. Then again, I have been rejected by all of the major events in my area anyway. So I really feel like maybe I should just stick to events abroad. It's, yeah, it's, I feel discouraged to try appealing to my local audience and that's kind of sad to think that way but I'm I'm trying and um, thank you so much to everybody that I met um to Evan who hung out at my booth and sent me memes and did um, jazz hands around my booth, just encouraging people to take a look. Thank you so much. And um, to Tessa, who actually gave me a present. Thank you so much. She, um, she made this. which is my favorite color to wear. And I'm excited to wear it on my hair whenever I go out. It, she was so very sweet. She came by a few times and gave me a hug. <sighs> yeah, thank you. Usually I, did, I don't have time to go around and shop and talk to people when I have events because I'm so busy. I, I'm very lucky to pee and drink something but for this event I had a lot a lot a lot of time to go around talk to people mainly fellow exhibitors and just like ask about how it's like tabling in the Netherlands but yeah thank you for tuning in if you like more sit down vlogs like this, let me know. You can comment a candy emoji. But for now, thank you, and I'll see you next week.